Hi everyone, um, we're going to kind of keep going from where I left off of the last time, which is adding a new person, but today we're actually going to learn how to edit a person. So in this case, I put in Claire's information, but I couldn't remember what her birthday and death date were. Um, but now I remember, <laughs> so, well, actually I found out on my other computer, so I kind of cheated. Okay, so I'm going to click on the birth, because I need to put in her birth information. So I'm going to click add, and add it. And I'm going to say, the birthday was February ooh, 22nd, uh, 1905. I'm not going to standardize that, because, no, oh, it was, did it anyway. Okay, it's standardized, whatever. Then I'm going to put in her place of birth, which is Provo, Utah. Oh look, once you start typing in a place, it generally actually pulls it up for you. So Provo, Utah is in Utah County, Utah, United States. I could click territory, but Utah was a state by then. So I'm actually going to put the top one. I only use the territory if Utah wasn't a state at the time frame, but that's my personal preference. Um, so it was a state. Now it's added. Um, but if I want to edit it, see, let's close this. So when you go to a normal page, it'll look like this. And if you want to edit, we can click on it, say edit, and go delete. Her birthday was actually the 21st. And change it, standardize it explain oh my gosh I forgot to tell you guys the most important thing in the world explain how you know this information is correct in this case I think I actually have a birth certificate so I would put birth certificate okay birth certificate there we go I figured it out and then click save so that's how you would edit somebody's personal information um, it's pretty much the same typical thing. You just go on their page, add anything, edit anything. Um, if you want to edit marriage or mar marriage, you just click on the little thing right here next to marriage and be like, oh, look, let me add a marriage date and add a marriage date in. I don't know hers off the top of my head. So, yeah, there's that. Um... If you want to add sources, you can add them here, add notes, you just add that right there. And that's how you edit, uh, edit a personal information. Same with down here, you could just probably do the same thing. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of how you edit a person. Uh, one thing I was going to tell you guys I was going to do today was show you how to put in if they were stillborn. So you go to their personal page and we would add right here on other information. It will immediately pull up all these things like military service, um, residency, occupation, custom events, cremation, ooh, race if you want to put that in, clan name, ooh, that would be good for Scottish and Irish records. But we're actually going to put in stillbirth. Then you fill out the stillbirth information. Then right there, people will know from now on that that baby was a stillbirth. So that's kind of how you edit in edit personal information. Next time, I will be adding editing relationships. I'll be showing how you edit relationships. I will add that in the description later on. And I will add in the description below how to add a person in case you wanted to know that information. Um... If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. Or if you have any suggestions on what I should film, please also leave that in the comment below. And I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a beautiful week. Bye.